We just lose to the Senators? Wow. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. There, there we go. Uh, Leaf Sense. First off, I got to say, I love the Senators in black. I love the 2D logo. It looked good. It looked good. Oh, but it sucks being a Leafs fan. It does. So this is game two of the season, and after game one, game two is not much better. So uh, tonight, what did, what did we get? We got uh, Stutzel's debut. Looked good. Still wearing those uh, German skates. Um, so notes at the beginning of the game when looking at the lineups. Murray's a senator. Dadanov's a senator. Stepan. Coburn. I think they said, like, there's nine different players in the lineup from last year. It's going to be tough to get used to all these player changes, I'm telling you. Uh, tons of new players on new teams. It's going to be tough. And that for the Leafs, it's Freddie Anderson. He's back. He's back in again. So that means you'd expect Jack Campbell on, on Saturday. Uh, so let's, let's just go over some notes. Just go over some notes this game, notes I took uh, watching the game, being – an avid Leafs fan, I was very excited until I started watching the game. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it all went downhill. Leafs, good cycle early on, you know, uh, hard on the puck, being a nuisance, hard on the fort check, good sticks. Um, there was a good three on two right away with Matthews and Marner uh, and Big Joe. Um, I think it was Joe Thornton over to Matthews, Matthews to Marner, but Marner can't curl the pass. Uh, the Hyman, Hyman line uh, with Mikheyev and Kerfoot, they were vicious to start, uh, start the game, causing havoc in front of Murray, just bullying their way through the D. Uh, they looked really good. There was a nice pickoff by Thornton um, on a turnover, and he put that puck to Muzzin, but Murray, uh, he, he held on to it. Yeah, good positioning there, just corralled it in the chest. Good shot from the points, but again, he just put it right in the chest. Uh, nice little play by Thornton. Stepon takes an early penalty uh, for delay of game with about 13.26 to go. Um, and that led to the Leafs' first power play. With that penalty, it, it's unfortunate. He was, he was at the blue line, basically. Simmons with a little pressure, but uh, yeah, Stepan puts it over the glass. I think they said Leafs were two for four against Montreal. Uh, obviously from Nylander's snipe and the Mitch Marner pass to Tavares where he tipped it between the legs. Uh, so here we go. Leafs' first power play of the night. JT, Nylander, Hyman, Spezza, and Brody. So a little bit unexpected. Uh, the Leafs are going with, like, trying to do two even power play units. I think I'd much rather see, you know, JT, Nylander, Marners, Matthews, and Riley out there. Um, but then it really downgrades the second unit. So for the power play, Hyman, good entry uh, with a little bump over from Nylander. Hyman has great puck protection along the boards. That was really key here. But again, Leafs couldn't do much of it. Then you get a good entry by Matthews uh, to looking to get set up. Uh, during this whole play, Riley makes a good hold at the blue line. Uh, Simmons tips it, gets a chance again. Then Matthews gets a chance. Then Marner gets a chance. But Murray makes some sharp saves. Damn, I, I thought was, that was it. That's what the Leafs needed. Uh, later on, you see Barabanov. His, what, only shift of the game, maybe? You might have seen him twice this whole game. He has great puck protection behind the net. Uh, so his puck protection mixed with the cycle with Kerfoot, uh, both just taking absolute body checks. Hits, boom, bounce off, boom, bounce off. Keep going. Remember when, uh, when you're like going up in that age for minor hockey, right? And you're going into checking and, you know, you run the gauntlet. You try to, uh, you know, you have your, your teammates hitting you along the boards and you're supposed to just keep plowing through. That's what these guys did. Um, and it led to, uh, to a penalty. Uh, I think Kerfoot got held or tripped, hooked, which one or the other. Leafs go back on the power play. Um, on this power play, they have a set play. Uh, Marner low to Hyman. Um, Hyman goes to bring it out. If it was Willie Nylander, he might have went through the legs. Hyman just throws it out, but it misses Spezza and JT. Uh, on this same play, or on the same power play anyway, Nylander to JT. He holds it while the defender goes down. A nice wrist shot, but Murray makes the save. And then, oh my God, Zach Hyman <laughs> chokes up on the stick. He's like he's doing a baseball bunt. Oh, wow, that was a little loud, but goal. Amazing. Zach Hyman, you're an animal. You're tenacious. You're like a guard dog down there. It's yours. That puck's yours. Uh, but he also has a nice little soft touch. Heck yeah. 
Nice goal, well-deserved, one nothing Leafs. Following that goal, so Matthews picks up the puck in the Senators' zone. Um, it's uh, Thornton. He's, uh, he's taking on Gabranson along the boards. Thornton, uh, I think he, he just takes position. It was really nice. Matthews picks it up for a two-on-one in close. He feeds Mitch Marner, and Mitch Marner pulls a 2019-2020 Cody CC and shoots it into the corner. Uh, throws it way wide, high and wide. He did this a couple times this game. A lot of Leafs did. High and wide, high and wide. Uh, majority of the game. That's one of the reasons why their shot total was so low. Um, it was the right play by Matthews. Um, the D did come over to take, uh, take Matthews' shot. But at the same time, you see Matthews in that spot. And, oh, would I, would I, I would take Matthews shooting in that position over anyone any day of the week. Uh, I wish he would have shot that. You know, like Mitch Marner, he's a great player. But, oh, Matthews, come on. Come on. Just a little toey. You do it all the time. Shoot that. Shoot that next time. Then we have the Sens. They, uh, they're sent to the power play. I think it was Germany gets called for the slash on uh, Stutzel. Remember, Stutzel made his debut on his birthday. So the Leafs are on the PK. And the PK for the Leafs against Montreal was not good. So let's try it again, shall we? Uh, Spets out for the draw and he wins it. Leafs clear it. Jason off right away. I like it. I like it. Jason, he wins the draws. Spets wins the draws. Gets off. Good man. Um, on this power play, Batherson with a good chance, but Freddie makes a good save. And the Leafs have a successful penalty kill. There we go. Senators 0 1 on the power play. I like it. Uh, then the Senators, they carry on though from that power play. They have some good pressure after the Leafs. Um, are tired. The PK are tired. This is even when uh, Dermot returns. He's absolutely knackered. The team's knackered. Um, uh, but, but Toronto managed his, to hang on. Uh, Freddie's able to cover it. Thornton then gets a good, uh, good forecheck. Leads to another turnover. And Matthews whizzes it wide. Yes, if you watch the replay, if you watch this game, Toronto missed wide a ton tonight. Uh, some more notes here. Nice hit by Muzzin on Dadanoff at the Leafs' blue line. That was really good. I like seeing this. Muzzin didn't have the best game against Montreal. Now, Muzzin and Hall looks like they were strangers, not guys who played really well together last year. Muzzin looked better in this game. Um, it was a nice hit. He needs to do more of that. Hyman then gets a chance from another turnover. Uh, Hyman beats Kerfoot. And, of course, what happens? Yes, he shot it high. Um, Kerfoot soup... Uh, Superman, uh, Mikheyev, and Hyman, they looked good on the forecheck all game. Then you get a high stick on Shabbat by Joe Thornton. Sends to the second power play. Leaves second penalty kill. Same play, Spezza wins the draw. And it's off. He's off. They cleared the puck. Well done. Well done, Spezza. You're doing your job. Um, on, this, uh, on this penalty kill, Hyman gets sent in by Marner on a breakaway. Hyman's absolutely exhausted. I, thought, I didn't even know if he was going to make it to the net. Uh, but he shoots it wide. He misses the net. The Sens go the other way. Riley, great little play. A little bit of a stick lift there on a glorious scoring chance. But, oh, crap. <laughs> the Leafs with too many men. Kerfoot jumped on the ice uh, with Hyman going off. He wasn't really even in the play. Damn. Uh, that timing needs to be better. You need to, remember, you need to remember that, you know, it did impact the play. It sucks, but I got to remember, I keep telling myself, it is only game two. There is no preseason. They only had a blue and white scrimmage. These things are going to happen, but it's hard. It's hard because, of course, the Senators set up Batherson to Shabbat off a nice little, I think it was like Shabbat put it in, and then he kind of cycled down uh, inside the hash marks, got set up for the one-timer. I think, did it go over the glove or under the glove? I don't know. It was a perfect shot. Good luck, Freddie, on that. They had him cutting across. 1-1. One, one. And that's how we end. We end the first period 1-1, um, one, one, but the Sens start the second period on a 40-second power play. Um, start of the second period, Hall and Muzzin look good. They look good on the PK um, to start the second period. Anderson with a good save off a deflection off, off of Kerfoot. Yeah, Kerfoot deflected it on his own net, uh, but a good save, good reaction by Anderson. Paul for the Senators, uh, he gets by Brody and Rings one off the post. Anderson wasn't uh, set. I wrote here, shit, that was close. <laughs> As it was, uh, Anderson didn't even get over to the post yet. Um, I didn't expect Paul to shoot from there, to be fair. I thought he was going to drive the net. 
Paul had a really good game for the Senators. Um, Timmy Stutzel, uh, note here, he had a cheeky little toe drag around Nylander um, within the Leafs zone. Uh, and that ended up leading to uh, a sense chance. That kid's special. Uh, I think he also did a little uh, dangle on Brody. I'll probably talk about it later on. Uh, Senators put lots of traffic uh, on Freddie Anderson, in front of Freddie Anderson, and he was struggling to, to find the puck. Um, what else happened in this game? Uh, oh, not too long after, uh, JT's working hard, and he goes for a wraparound, and Matty Kachuk tries to... No, Brady Kachuk, sorry. God, Kachuk brothers. That's going to be frustrating this year. Uh, Brady Kachuk tries to kill him, basically, on the wraparound. He looked like he jumped at him. He went too high and, and missed it. It looked like he was trying out for the WWE or something. Uh, not too long after that, though, third liner added again with Brody, Riley, all over the Sens, but they can't get anything going. Can't get anything literally on Murray. Um, Senators kept them outside. Uh, they did really well. They did this all game. Uh, lots of puck protection by the Leafs. Good forecheck. They just couldn't get anything to the net. Um, as in, like, a, not even like a save for Murray. They were there, but they were just missing wide and all that stuff. Tips wide, all of that. Um, Matthews bats one's end of the air, but he can't find the back of the net. Puck takes a bad bounce, and it gets, and it gets out by the centers. This was like, I think it was like a two and a half minute, uh, offensive zone uh, hold by the Leafs and then it just bounced at the blue line and gets past Brody which sucked and that lucky bounce ends up really helping the Senators because it allowed Senators to change which leads to Paul getting a chance um, but luckily he cannot corral the puck when he makes his move to his forehand and can't get it to settle down that could have made it 2-1 uh, Senators then you get a two-on-one with Thornton and Hall yes Thornton and Hall had a two-on-one. Hall's carrying the puck, and you're like, oh, is he going to feed it over Thornton? Is he going to shoot? What's he going to do? Oh, he skates it into the corner. Yes. You know what? <laughs> it was a good defense by, uh, by the D-man there, uh, but Hall looks like probably me and my buddies from my rec team on a two-on-one. You know, when you, your head's down, you're skating with it, then you look up, oh, oh, no, where's the puck? You look down, and then it takes three seconds. Uh, to find it, and yeah, there goes the chance. That's basically what happened. It happens at least 10 times every rec game. It happened here for Justin Hall. Oh, here's the Stutzel point here. In the second period, Stutzel at it again. He dangles Brody, and then, uh, yeah, it was just a nice little play. Simmons also gets a chance uh, not long after that little dangle by Stutzel, but Murray makes, uh, makes a nice save um, because he's like, uh, I think Simmons tries to pass it across. Murray stops his pass across. Uh, Simmons then just crashes the net, crash and banging. Spezza picks it up, feeds it to Muzzin. Murray with another save. He had Muzzin's number tonight. Leafs did focus on making like hell for the for the goalies in Montreal, but especially here, well, Carey Price in Montreal, but especially here for Matt Murray. Lots of traffic in front of the net. I really like the pressure. I like the strategy. Leafs just need to find a way to get the puck through. Uh, there's lots of slap passes and redeflections and all that stuff, but they just aren't on net and it's not working. A lot of high shots and a lot of just near misses or in some cases some oh, CC misses. Um, in the second period, Hyman's at it again with the hard effort, gets the puck to, uh, to Superman. Great save by Murray. Then uh, they get the puck up to Kerfoot, playing high in the zone. I think like McKinnon style, you know, with Colorado. So it was like they're playing two deep, three high. Uh, Kerfoot is the, the middleman there. Uh, gets up to Hall, Hall to Kerfoot. Kerfoot waits uh, for the net drive. So, like, uh, the, I think it was Mikheyev, maybe. Drove by, brought the defender with him, and snipe, top corner. There you go. See what happens when you hit the net? I love this line already. Uh, I love that little honey badger of uh, Zach Hyman. Love this strategy. 2 1 Leafs. And I'm happy. And I'm happy. And not too long after, though. What a great chance by the Sens. Anderson's literally swimming, swimming in the goal. He makes the save. Uh, Sens had Anderson out of position. Uh, Colburn's shot. Also, Colburn had a decent game today. I didn't even know he was on the Sens. I totally forgot. Shot's deflected. Freddie dives back uh, to his glove hand side, but the puck goes back the other way. And he's basically doing a front float, uh, <laughs> face down front float, but he keeps it out of the net. Wow. And the legend, known as Nikita Zaitsev, the almost leave Hall of Famer, Nikita Zaitsev, throws one on net from the sideboards, 
and damn it, Brady Kachuk, just outside the crease, tips a shot uh, that's going wide. Honestly, I think Zaitsev's shot was going wide. Nice tip on the defensive defenseman, TJ Brody. Yeah, it was like Brody did box him out, but Kachuk just moved his stick over to the right-hand side. Nice little tip, 2-2. Two, two. Right after that, though, who did the send, uh, Leafs send out? The third line again, and they have another great shift after, that, after the goal. Um, and then you have, like, Thornton feeding Matthews. But, again, Murray with a nice save. If they need more of that, I need to see more of Joey Thornton just feeding Matthews and letting him go. And then it's the Sens' turn. Uh, and you'll hear this a lot this year. It happened in Montreal. It's going to happen tons. Leaves, the Leafs lose their assignments in the defensive zone. They get all discombobulated. And it's Austin Watson. Yes, again, another new uh, senator. Watson, former Nashville Predator. He's on the scene. Nice little passing play from Paul and Coburn. Coburn, again. Great shot. Like, th that shot's going to go in. Not, not falling Freddy for that. Three, two sends. Uh, Anderson manages to keep the Leafs into this game at a one-goal game. He makes a nice save after the goal, a point shot that gets tipped. Good on Freddie. I'm glad he was able to see that. Then there was a delayed penalty. Uh, Leafs take a delayed penalty, obviously. Uh, puck's like bouncing in front of the net. Goes off Brody. Tierney finds it. Former San Jose Shark. Remember, they got Tierney and that draft pick who got Stutzel in that uh, Eric, Car Eric Carlson train, I believe. Uh, Wide open net, wide open net. Hits off Brody. Anderson obviously played the shot. And it's 4-2. No, no, no. Three straight for the Sens in about five minutes. I think they said it was, it was like 4.30 maybe. And it's 4-2 Senators. Just, just awful. Just awful. Go from a high to a low. Roller coaster. Montreal game was like that. This whole season is going to be like that. That's what it's like being a Leafs fan. So Leafs pressure again. JT gets stopped in tight, and Murray makes a great save on Bogosian from a point shot. Yes, Bogosian. Uh, he wasn't as noticeable this game, which is good, because last game he was noticeable in the wrong way. Uh, with about 3.18 to go, uh, Shabbat gets retribution on Thornton, gives him his own high stick, and Leafs go on the power play. Uh, on the power play, Riley with a good little slap shot from the right-hand side. Puck pops out. It's right in the slot, but no one's there. No one's there. And that leads to Nylander with the turnover. And, uh, yeah, another great penalty by the Leafs. Uh, Spets with the trip in his own end. It looked a bit weak. Uh, it looked like Paul went down a little bit too easy, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Leafs do manage to survive this, and it is 4-2 Senators after 40 minutes. So we're into the third period now. And, of course, the Leafs, they're still in the penalty kill. Off, uh, so they're killing off the penalty, opening third period. Center does have the power play, but yes, Leafs kill it off. Good for them. Well done. This leads to then Matthews making sights have looked like an absolute pylon out there. Uh, following that, Thornton gets the puck, gets it to Riley. Riley gets hooked, and it's the Leafs. They're off to the power play. They need this now. They need it, right? Uh, down by two, you get a power play chance at the beginning of the third. Here's your chance. And what do they do? They win the draw. It goes to Spezza. He takes his slap shot. Murray, just an easy glove. JT gets a nice wrister out there. But again, Murray makes a nice save. Uh, throughout this entire power play, it was frustrating. Leafs couldn't keep the puck in. They were ringing the puck around the boards. No one was there. The timing was off. They were struggling with entries. They're losing the puck. They're making poor decisions. Sloppy play. Frustrating play. Honestly, uh, not good. Not good at all. After the power play, Anderson, a good point-blank save on uh, Drake Batherson. He got a great chance in front of the net there. I think it was just high slot, maybe a slap shot. Can't really uh, recall perfectly what happens. But not long after that, there's a misplay by Brody. This leads to Stepan getting the puck back to Batherson. Nice shot, nice save. Stepan just pops in the loose puck. Leafs, defensive coverage again. Drops the ball. Stefan just pots it into the empty net. Four straight goals, and it's five freaking two for the Ottawa Senators over the Toronto Maple Leafs. The team who was begged to get first in the division and Ottawa seventh. What's going on? Yeah, so it's so not, so not the best thing anyway. Um, after that, the Leafs then get a power play off a nice Mikheyev rush where he gets, I think he get held maybe. Uh, the whole point of this power play, for me, I was like, just get some momentum going into Saturday's game, right? You got a rematch, get some momentum. You're down 5-2. 
Are you going to are you going to come back from three goals? Is this going to be a Columbus thing? Unlikely, right? To get something going, and they generated some chances, right? Uh, there was a low tip play by Matthews and JT, but again another missed net. Matthews and JT again hard work, and they get the puck back to JT. A little move, he's down the left side, and he snipes. What an absolute beautiful shot under the glove, over the pad on Murray. Like Ray Ferraro said, uh, um, Matt Murray should have had this shot. Be quiet, Ray. Just shush. Like, those are perfect shots, right? That's a hard shot to save. Just, no. Come on. No negatives for Murray there. Don't, don't take it away from Tavares. It was a great shot, and great shots beat goalies, no matter what happens. So, yeah, I'm fine with it. That makes it 5-3. Following the 5-3 goal, you get some more pressure by the Leafs, but to no avail. And then, holy shit, Freddie, what a save on Branson! Already the save of the year. Wide open net, dives back across, keeps the Leafs in it. Then Brody, he pulls off his own Morgan Riley from the Montreal game. Great defensive play, blocking the pass on a two-on-one from former Leaf, Connor Brown. Um, Freddie's basically giving the Leafs chance with another big save. This time he made the save on Paquette, I believe. And then it all stops because there was a little turnover in the offensive zone. Nylander tries to get it back, tries to lift the stick, and another high-sticking penalty for the Leafs. It ruins the chance, sends on the power play with less than five minutes to go. And, and yeah, well, that's game, isn't it? Sends win 5-3. You know, you get some pushing, some cross-checks there at the end of the game. You expect that, don't you? Uh, the Leafs lose 5-3. They lost 5-3 to the Senators. They have to play them nine more times. Great. The Leafs should have these games, let's be honest. So, yeah, there's the game. 5-3 Senators. Good on them. Some quick notes to finish this off here. I think I saw Barabanov play, what, two shifts maybe? And that was in the first period. Did he get hurt? Might as well give him a chance, right? Like, they're, they're playing awful. They're not playing well. Maybe he can get something going. He did well from what I witnessed anyway, watching. And if not, will we see Robertson soon? Uh, thoughts on Joe Thornton? At times he looked great, but at times he looked very, very slow, especially entering the zone and getting back on that Marner-Matthews line. Could Robertson fill in for Jumbo Joe up there? I know people want Hyman and Marner, Marner's, Marner and Matthews to be together again. But I love that Hyman, Kerfoot, Mikheyev line. They work so well. So why not, uh, why not Nick Robertson? See what he can do? Maybe. Yeah. Um, best line tonight for the Leafs, definitely Hyman, Mikheyev, Kerfoot. That's easy. Matthews, Marner, Nylander, they were almost non-existent after their amazingly well, great efforts against Montreal. JT, he's going to put in 100% effort every game. Uh, Though if Toronto wants to win, they can't have all three. JT's always going to play well. He's always going to play hard. Matthews, Marner, and Nylander. One might have an off night. You can't have all three having an off night. Or this is going to happen, and you're going to lose 5-3 to the Ottawa freaking Senators. Um, from notes for Senators, just the names being said by the announcers. This is a young Sens team, and I really hope they do well. Uh, just not against the Leafs. Usually I despise uh, the Senators. That's because, you know, Leafs passed. Remember, like, the Joe Neuendijk scoring on Patrick Laleem, the, you know, Matt Sundin and Alfredson, I think it was, what, throwing the stick into the stands or the glove. I think it was the stick. And then Alfie, you know, faking it. Uh, like, that really, like, made your blood boil, right? But these are, the, these are different senators. They're a young team, and I'm, I don't think I'm going to root against them. I just don't want them to play well against the Leafs. Everyone else, go for it, Sens. Go for it. To finish off, maybe some lineup changes soon. How much longer are Bogosian and Hall going to be in the lineup? I don't like how they're playing. I know Hall got some points and stuff, but I get that, like, icky Martin Marinson feeling now every time he has the puck. Same with Bogosian. So maybe time for Lettinen. Maybe time for Sandin. I already said about Nick Robertson. Uh, next game, so the rematch, we've got Jack Campbell in that, so that's going to be fun. See how he does. Hopefully he can... Do better. Hopefully he has a better defensive team in front of him than what Freddie had. And yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. Leafs have done well in the offensive zone. Their possession-wise is great. Um, that strategy, their tactics in the offensive zone are working well. They just need to make sure they get that puck through onto the net. The deflections need to be on net. 
and they can't be shooting it wide all the time. They got some glorious chances and just fired it wide. But the big thing for them, PK still needs work, obviously. And that losing that defensive zone coverage, it's been the Achilles heel of the Leafs for years and years. And that hasn't changed. But again, I have to remind myself, there was no preseason. This is only game two. This is only game two. Let's see if it gets any better in game three. Good game, Ottawa. You deserve it. See you tomorrow. Leafs are now one and one. Go Leafs go.